we got a three blind mice build to go. This is the first one of the year, last one of the season, I guess, for them. And uh, it is the snow track. I am uh, going to go a little bit different today than normal three blind mice builds. I'm not going to modify it. I'm just going to do a restoration. And we're going to 3D print the treads. Let's get started by drilling it out. We use the Proxon screwdriver. I use it as a drill because I like it because it's slow. There we go. And this is a later model snow track because it has the snow track printed there on the side it also doesn't have the uh, the push pin or release pin or whatever the heck they call it here in the top everything looks to be in good shape I gotta get these wheels off let's do that next So there are all the parts that make up a snow track. Alright, I'm going to do it a little bit different this time. Usually I put the caustic soda in first and then the water. This time we're going to go the other way around. Because that's what the cool kids are doing on the web, so let's try it that way. I have my 8 inch stein enough water to cover it. Alright, not quite 100% paint removal. I got a little bit here and a little bit on the other spots, but that's okay. What I wanted to show you on the, when I got my Proxon stuff back in October, I got also received some of the wire brushes. And this is the original wire brush that I got in October. I haven't changed it out yet. It has lasted this long, which is quite a feat. But you can see how it's starting to twist from you know, twisting in a clockwise rotation. So what you can do with these, which is really cool, is you can unscrew them. And once you unscrew them, you could rotate them. So there you go. Worth the extra money on this part. The Proxon itself, it costs really about the same as much as what I spent on that Ryobi and uh, a little bit more than the Dremel, but about the same as the Ryo Ryobi. I'll finish cleaning off the base and the top, and then I'll rejoin you. All right, I got it all cleaned up. Looks pretty good. And I got it uh, drilled and tapped. I just love it when you get it perfectly centered like that. 
I do. Anyway, uh, it's all ready to go. Didn't know it said Matchbox Series up there. Interesting. Nice. Huh. All right. One last word about the wire brush from Proxon. Great wire brush. You can flip it, do all those good things. But the shaft on it uses a 3.30 seconds collet as opposed to the Dremel, which uses a 1 8 inch collet. Proxon includes a whole bunch of different size collets for you with, the, with their rotary tools. So it's not a, a problem if you've got a whole bunch of tools for the Dremel, you just swap out the collet and you're good to go. But I did want to make you aware of that in case you wanted to use these on your Dremel. You have to make sure you have the right size collet for it. Take a look at the window. It uh, does have some scratches on it, as we can see. Some of the things I'm looking at on the window is how thick is it, so I can see how if I can sand it or not. I need to get some of the burrs off of there. So I think I am going to give it a light sand, and then we'll give it a polish. Use a thousand grit because that's what I've got. Well, we got one little dot left, but it's really deep. I think. Could be an air bubble, too. Yeah, it's real deep. I can feel it. So I'm not going to be able to get that out. It'll make it too thin. But it's okay. Now let's polish it. Just the front there needs a little work. All right, I think Marty would be happy with that too. In this section, I want to accomplish getting the uh, wheels on, or the whatever these things are called on, and the uh, and it measured so that I can get the tread length figured out. Let's get that done. And I'm going to use.
use the old ball pin method on this. Now to measure the treads, what I want to do is 3D print out a new tread that is a circle on this. To do that, I need to know the circumference of the circle. All right, to figure out the circumference of this circle that I need to build, I'm going to use some tape. That's how long I need it. That needs to be a hundred and mil or hundred and six millimeters long. So hundred and six millimeters long is the official measurement for the tread. So if we take a look at treads, these are ones I printed before. I print them in a circle like this. This is so I need this circumference to be 106 millimeters long. I need 24 treads all the way around. So let's head, head over to AutoCAD and get that drawn in. Set our units up to millimeters. Draw in a circle. We'll click that circle so we can change its circumference to 106. We'll offset that circle 0.8 because our the nozzle width is 0.4. So if we do it 0.8, it'll be two nozzles wide. And we'll draw a line from the quad down to the quad. We'll zoom in, we'll offset again, and that will offset this time 0.4. So we want to go either side. Erase that center piece. Trim off this piece. Whoops. Trim off that and extend those. We'll fill it these corners. Make sure they're perfect. We'll trim away that. We'll fill up this to make sure it's perfect. Good. And now we'll array that. Polar. Center. 40, 24. Done. Trim. And I pick all these again for the hundredth time. Then we'll join all of that. And it should be closed. Yes, it's 5.6 millimeters high. Let's make it x-ray just to be fun. Extrude those. 5.6. Trim. No, I don't want to trim. I want to subtract. Keep that, get rid of that. Voila, there it is. All right, we're ready to put this thing back together. I've got the wheels or whatever we want to call these things put on. Let's get the treads put on. These are the ones we just printed, or I just printed. They look pretty good, they roll. The 
this is printed with uh, white TPU is the material. TPU is the material. Nothing too special about it. I'll put a link in the show notes to the TPU that I used. It came out pretty good. I'm happy with it. Yeah. Paint came out okay too. Painted it with red with the Vallejo model paint. And then I put some clear coat on it with some rattle can. And there we go. One completed snow track. I know I didn't do anything special to it. Well, I didn't want to. I wanted to get a, a snow track that was true to a snow track. So there we go. That is it. I hope you enjoyed this fabulous episode of Read the Factory Manual. Please like, subscribe. If you didn't like it, hit the thumbs down button twice. If you did, hit it once or three times. Any odd number will work. And um, I hope to have a video out for you again real soon. Thanks for watching.